NIL is such a, an interesting world we've opened up to the last you know, six months or so. When all of this unfolded, how did you guys come up with the idea and what made you want to come up with the idea for an NIL organization that's different than, than what we've been seeing the last you know, half of a year? Let me take this one. <laughs> I'll take this one. I'll take this one. Uh, you know, it was, of course, I love the newspaper. I love the news. I love to watch the media. So I've always, uh, when our NIL first came about, it was obvious this is going to be something to follow and watch. And and living close to the University of Arkansas and knowing the administration, knowing the athletes made it even more interesting. It was almost like we were able to to watch the whole thing event, you know, the whole thing event just uh, unfold in our backyard. Well, it became obvious that at some point it was going to happen. Then at some point, the NCAA accepted it. And then, of course, the University of Arkansas followed those guidelines. So it was kind of interesting to see it all play out. Didn't really think much about it. We're not in businesses that really deal with the general public. You know, our businesses deal more with uh, uh, non-public. We usually have a different than a public relationship with our customers. So it didn't really apply to us. But a while back, and I'm talking about months ago, uh, we were in a meeting with a group of uh, uh, community service organizations, and it's uh, as Northwest Arkansas has grown, there's getting ready to be a lot of growth in community services. I mean, the, the area is booming, and, and as the population grows, uh, you know, they, they need more facilities. They need bigger facilities. They need more resources, and so we've been supporting those over the years. Well, we were in a meeting and, and one of them said, well, you know, we just keep asking our same donors to give more. You know, there's got to be something other than that. You can't just keep saying to the same people, we need more. And uh, as I was driving away from that meeting, it really dawned on me, you know, how, how could we get more of the general public involved in, in what's going on in community services in Northwest Arkansas? And about that time, we, we started thinking about, you know, you have these athletes, these student athletes in the University of Arkansas. And, you know, there's they're such good ladies and gentlemen, they're such hard workers, they're, they're such, you know, so good at their craft and, and they're good students as well. And it was like, okay, so, you know, up here or down here in Fayetteville, you've got this wonderful grade of student athletes and up here in, uh, in this case, Rogers, Arkansas, you've got these uh, community service that really needs some support. And it was just like, you know, how could we put the two of them together? We could get the student athletes involved in this organization. Uh, first of all, it's a great organization. And second of all, they're great student athletes. How could we put the two of them together? And then after lots of conversation, we decided that NIL was the best way to do that. So what we did at that point was then, you know, start doing the research on how to form our own NIL. And it is Brian and Mandy Hunt. So this is just her and I that are doing this. And uh, we were able to uh, figure out how to do it. We, were figured it. we figured out how to get the University of Arkansas's blessing, which took quite a while, but we, we finally got the university to sign off on it. And then we went to the Samaritan Community Center and uh, talked to Debbie Rambo. And she was like, yeah, let's do it. So then it became real simple, you know, where do we find an athlete that'll fit this role? And with that, I will turn the <laughs> athlete part over <laughs> to my beautiful wife, Mandy. No, the athlete part over. Well, well, um, so have you ever seen me at a game? No, that's what I ask everybody because they're like, how did you pick on the athlete? And I'm like, have you ever seen me at a game? No, it's just um, the passion that I have for, you um, the student athletes um, at the university and um, really just the love that I have for um, students out there and um, wanting to be a part of their lives and what I could bring to their lives was now becoming alive and was now becoming real. And um, so um, I, I just, I had spent a lot of time thinking to myself and praying about which athlete would fit best with the Samaritan house. And um, I always like to know who is really behind, you know, that uniform mm -hmm. um, because it's, you know, you know, they, they can play great football, great basketball, great soccer, you know, tennis, what have you. But there is an individual behind that uniform and um, there's a story. And so I truly um, believe that um, 
when we decided to go with um, jo with JD Note, um, the fit was just perfect. Um, not a lot of a lot of people know um, his bringing up and where he came from, but um, he, you know, lived a a rough life and um, single mom, wonderful lady um, that we have, you know gotten to know very well through this process but um jd you know there was many times where he did not know if there was going to be food on the table um where they were going to sleep and um with brian dealing you know with the samaritans and the samaritans providing you know snack packs for kids to take you know home and that you know sometimes being their only meal for the weekend it just it was like, this is it. It's, this is our perfect fit. So it was like, it's, it's almost like it was too simple. It's like everybody wants our story and the story, it's just, it's like all felt, it fell together and it's almost too simple to even tell mm -hmm. if that makes some sense. Mm -hmm. So, so looking at, and I'll use JD as an example, just because he's the, the deal we've seen so far it's doing good for Samaritan, obviously. And, you know, what we know about NILs is it's good for athletes because they're going to get financial compensation. But for this type of NIL deal, what do you think this does for JD and all the other athletes um, that are going to be signed outside of, you know, compensation, you know, what it can do for them personally? Personally. Well, if you could, I mean, I saw what I saw in JD when we were at the Samaritan house um, was, I mean, I, I have no words for it. I mean, when he was there filling the snack packs that he knew we're going to, I mean, that, that we're going to go home with these kids and just, I mean, the, the smile on JD's face, mm -hmm. I mean, was, was just everything. I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. And I, he just said it was a full day of, you know, volunteering and providing, you know, sending meals off. And we kept saying, you're doing a great job, JD. You know, we're, we know you've got things to do, but, um, you know, we promise we'll have you out of here in an hour. And he just looked at us and he was like, no, thank you all. I am having the time of my life. So, I mean, I just feel like we opened up an area inside of him where he felt like he was giving back to the community um, in his own way. Yeah. And, you know, kind of. Yeah, you got to remember the student athlete life is pretty busy. Uh, number one, they're a student. They have to participate in the University of Arkansas's education program. And then, of course, the coach wants them to spend every amount of time as they can. Now, it may not it may not be on the court or on the field, but it's in the weight room. It's in the film room. It's sure. these mm -hmm. these athletes lives are very, very busy. And so whenever you say to them, OK, look, we need you for half a day to do this, you're taking away from their personal time. So, you know, we have to be very considerate of JD's mm -hmm. time. And so it was, it was very enlightening to see, to see him act, be active with the Samaritans and the, and the reaction that both sides got. It was, it was a real blessing for us. So I think the, the big question now, because yesterday was, you know, so exciting for, for everyone to see what, what can we expect now in the, in the future? How many athletes are, are you guys looking to sign? How far do you think this thing can expand? Well, right now, we're just, the reason we wanted to go public with this is we didn't want there to be any misconceptions about, you know, who, how, and what it is. I think we've heard right. here now that it's a, it's, it's Brian and Mandy Hunt, that it's J.D. Note in a Samaritan Community Center. And what you're going to see over the next 12 months is J.D. and the Samaritans working very hard to raise the capital that they need to break ground with a new facility, which they desperately need the new facility. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're hoping this spring we'll be able to come up with a with another organization and another athlete that will fulfill our you know our next season as well. 
But, you know, as big as it gets, you know, we're hoping that other people do this. We hope that other people say, well, you know, I'm involved in this organization. And guess what? I know this university athlete. I think they would match well together. So we're hoping it's not just us that is doing this. I mean, uh, NIL can evolve into, into many different things, but we're hoping that this is kind of the model that people can say, look, you know, here's how here's what we can do for everybody. Let's go do this. So it sounds like, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys aren't looking to just grab a bunch of athletes and throw them all over the place to different organizations. It sounds like you're looking for the right people and the right organizations and to pair them together and to more or less not rush that situation until you find the correct partnership. Yeah, because it, it requires passion. It's a lot of work. I mean, it's, this is, these, this, the student athlete does not have much time and this is a very time consuming endeavor. And uh, JD has the passion for it. And so that was a perfect pair. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is something that even, you know, recruits could see that, wow, I mean, not only what JD Note is doing on the field or on the court, and he's having so much success, but he's able to make a difference off of it because of this organization that's helping him give back to something that he's so familiar with growing up. I think the right recruits, it'll make an impact on them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, keep in mind, I, I was a University of Arkansas student and I wasn't thinking about any of this at that time. But mm -hmm. as, as you age and as you become elderly and things that what's important to you changes. And now these things are very important to us. And so, you know, with JD's situation, it became very important to him once he saw what, what's going on at the community center and what he could do for them.